was called against Keith Ryan, I believe, or Kevin Ryan. At the free throw line, Dave Franks is going to take one and one. Shot is up and good. 52-45, Noggy by seven. 3.31 left to go in the ball game. Dave Franks with his second try. Shoots it up, misses the rebound, picked up by Ozzy Majel. He shoots it up and misses the rebound, picked up by Franks. He shoots it up, misses. Rebound, picked up by Noggy, and immediately there's a jump ball. Al Acevera was tied up by Dave Franks. They'll jump at the Sacred Heart free throw line. Three twenty-four left to go on the game. Noggy leads by seven. The tap is batted around, picked up by Anthony Perry. Perry. Uh, a traveling violation call against Sacred Heart. And at a very crucial time for the Hearts to lose the ball, they had the ball in the forecourt and a chance to cut the Noggy lead down to five. That may very well hurt the hearts. Right now, time is going to be called by Noggy. And with time out, here we go. Will Alley. There's a pass down court to McLean. Because it was a layup shot. Good. Well, that, that makes my theory. Uh, Matt McLean. There's a long shot on the outside by the hearts. Missed the rebound underneath. Rolling loose. Scramble for the jump ball call. What the Greyhounds did, it took the ball out of bounds in the backcourt. And Matt McLean made a... Uh, Blazing drive for the hoop. He caught a long pass down court, went in with a layup, and that was that was the basket that may make the big difference in this ball game. Right now, the Hearts are trailing by nine, 54-45. The score on the scoreboard there in reverse, 5-4 for Noggy, 4-5 for the Hearts. And the jump ball, the tap over the far side, picked up by Al Achevera, and the Greyhounds have the ball. In the forecourt, Kevin, uh, Kevin Ryan with it. Closely guarded by Anthony Perry. Perry and uh, uh, Craig Wood both playing with four personals on them. They've got to be extremely careful. Uh, so they can't guard too closely. You can't try to make a steal because they could get called for uh, a violation and be out of the ball game. But right now, the Hearts is very desperately have got to do something and do it very quickly. There's a pass in stolen by Calvin Glenn. Glenn with the ball. Passes off to Anthony Perry. Perry shoots it up and good from the vicinity of the foul lane. 54-47, Noggy by seven. Full court pressed by the Hearts in the backcourt. Ryan pass off to McLean. McLean with the ball, driving in the forecourt. Comes back out and there's a foul call. A foul is committed by Ozzie Majel, I believe. And going to the free throw line is Matt McLean to take a one and one. So the Hearts trying everything they can, but this Noggy team is not to be denied thus far. They certainly have played a great ball game. Shot in the foul line by McLean is good. 19 points for Matt McLean, probably playing one of his better ball games of the season. Well, at least it's the best ball game I've seen Matt McLean in the few times I've seen the Greyhounds this year. He got another try coming, and he misses that one. The rebound is picked up by McRae. So the Greyhounds maintain control, and nothing is breaking right for Sacred Heart. Now a foul committed by Ozzy Major. He fouled Kevin Ryan, I believe, and Ryan will go to the free throw line for a one and one. The Hearts have no alternative now. They must foul and hope that Noggy misses at the free throw line so they can uh, get an opportunity at cutting into this eight-point Noggy lead. Top of the Valley standings with an eight and one record, and I'll tell you, there must be some joyful crusaders listening to this broadcast right now, A.V. Well, Al, you can't blame them. Leaves them all alone at the top of the heap, and of course, uh, that's the way the ball bounces. That's the way it's been bouncing tonight. Kevin Ryan at the foul line shoots it up and good. He, th uh, he threw a line drive shot at that hoop, and the ball dropped through. Greyhounds lead by nine. And... Brian has a chance to make it 10, and he misses the rebound, a foul, a foul call against Al Echeverria in the battle for the rebound, and Hearts will go to the free throw line. 
to take a one and one. So they move down to the Sacred Heart end of the floor, the left side of the floor, Alley. You know, A.V., take nothing away from the Greyhounds tonight. They have outplayed Sacred Heart. They've done a super job off the boards. Uh, they've completely dominated both boards, offensively and defensively. Granted, the Greyhounds have been having a hot night shooting, which has helped them and has kind of spurred them on, but they really have been aggressive out on the floor and have been doing everything they're supposed to. Okay, first shot in the foul line by Henry Brown is good. It's a 56-48 ball game. Noggy by eight. Henry Brown's second shot is good again. 56-49. Seven-point lead by the Greyhounds. And Noggy with the ball. Bounce pass in. Rolling loose. Scramble for it. Picked up by Sacred Heart. With the ball is Anthony Perry. Turns, shoots it up without even looking at the basket. The ball is off the rim. And picked up by Naugatuck. That could have been a big mistake by Perry. In the forecourt with the ball. Radar passes off to Al Acheveria. The clock continues to move. 155 left to go in the ball game. Noggy by seven. On the midcourt with the ball. Radar is called on a backcourt violation. The hearts catch a little break there, but that clock on the wall seems to move with amazing rapidity. I imagine as far as Sacred Heart fans are concerned. They need seven points in a hurry, and then they're going to have to get them in a hurry because Noggy has been playing, as Atley said, a great brand of basketball. Calvin Glenn with the ball. Turns, has the ball knocked out of his hands. Rolling those, picked up by Henry Brown. Pass off to Craig Wood. Over the far side to Perry. Perry with a fallaway jumper, no good. Rebound, picked up by Noggy, and Brian Best has the ball. And that could be the ball game as far as the Greyhounds are concerned. They're going to cross-court pass as often as they can and avoid... The, oh, Billy Rado, or uh, rather Keith Rado has the ball, closely got it. The Hearts don't want to foul Rado because that's almost a sure two points. So Rado passes off to McLean. McLean out of the corner at the far side, over this side to McRae. Minute eight left to go, and then McRae is fouled by Dave Franks. McRae will go to the free throw line for a one and one. A minute seven left to go in the game. Much will depend upon what Tom McRae does at the free throw line now with his one and one. If he makes one or both of them, the Hearts' chances will be really going a glimmering. 56-49 the score. Noggy. Shot by McRae is good. The Greyhounds have left very little to be desired in all their play, and including that from the free throw line. How have they done, Allie, from the free throw line? Very well. <laughs> all right. Well, very well. Allie's in Hasn't got the total figure. Second shot is best rebound picked up by Henry Brown. Brown to Perry. Perry driving down the middle, shoots it up and good. 57 to 51. Hearts trail by six, and now there's a backcourt foul call against Calvin Glenn. And let's see, who did he foul? I believe he fouled Brian Best. Henry Brown comes out of the ball game for the Hearts, and Ozzie Majel goes in. 56 seconds left to play. Noggy leads by six, 57-51. Brian Best at the free throw line will take a one and one. Best shoots it up, and, and good ball. Did a little juggling act on the front rim of that hoop. Looked like it was going to pop out. No good, but it... Just moved back down and through, and that is a big break for the Greyhounds because it puts that much more pressure on the Hearts. Second shot is missed. Rebound picked up by Calvin Glenn. Glenn with the ball. Lead pass in the fourth court to Craig Wood. Wood closely got it. Shoots it up on the fly. Good. Beautiful shot by Craig Wood. Makes it a 58-53 to 53 ball game. The Hearts have cut the Noggy lead down to five. Time. Okay, Ellie. Well, let's see what Coach Eddie Generale has told his hearts to do here. They got their backs to the wall, and the Greyhounds playing great ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it now. They're double team, and there's a foul call. I believe the foul is against Craig Wood. That is his fifth personal. Craig Wood of Sacred Heart has fouled out of the ball game. Was it Craig Wood or Henry Brown? I don't know whether he said 21 or 22, Allie. Might have been Henry Brown because Greg, Craig Wood is staying in the ballgame. That would be Henry Brown committing his second personal foul. That, but at the free throw line is Keith Rado. Shot is up and good. 
And of all people to foul on the Noggy team, Rado is definitely not the player to foul. Keith has been very deadly from the free throw line. Second shot is missed. The rebound over the far side, picked up by Craig Wood for the Hearts. In the fourth quarter comes to Perry. Perry shoots it up and misses. Rebound over the far side, picked up by McRae. McRae passes off to McLean. McLean cross court to Ryan. Ryan, a bounce pass in the fourth court to Rado. And Rado's called traveling with 30 seconds left to play. Noggy leads by six, 59 to 53. Hearts have the ball. Ball is passed in to Perry. Perry driving into the fourth court quickly. Shoots it up on the fly. No good. The rebound. Picked up by Noga Tuck. And I believe a deliberate foul being called by the Hearts will give the Greyhounds a couple. Yep. A deliberate foul by Sacred Heart. And going to the free throw line. Tom McRae. 24 seconds left to go in the game. Nogaduck just that far away from knocking Sacred Heart out of first place and enhancing their own. Although the Greyhounds, I believe, have already qualified. Well, maybe this game will make it. Shot the foul line is good by McRae. And McRae with his bonus try. Well, not his bonus try. This is his second try. It's awarded him because of the delivered foul. He makes that good. And this ball game is just about finished, folks. Calvin Glenn driving is called on an offensive charge foul. And if there was any doubt about Noggy winning this ball game before, there's no doubt about it now. Calvin Glenn fouls out with his fifth personal foul. And Calvin Glenn was held to a low of only 14 points tonight. That is a tribute to the fine defense the Noggy Greyhounds have set up here tonight. Rado with the ball, brings it in the forecourt, goes driving in, passes off underneath to McRae. McRae is tied up in another foul call, but this is all academic from here on in because Noggy's Greyhounds are leading by eight with 11 seconds left to go are in absolutely no danger of having hearts, the Hearts pull this ball game out of the fire. McRae will go to the free throw line for a one and one. Sacred Hearts next ball game will be here at the Kennedy Gym. Shot is good from the foul line by McRae. Hearts will play will be in a game that was snowed out earlier this year. And they'll play the Wildcats here at the Kennedy Gym Monday night. Broadcast time for that game over WATR at 10 of 8. Second shot is good again. 63-53, Noggy by 10, and the forecourt Perry shoots it up, misses the rebound by Henry Brown, is up and no good, a foul call, with four seconds left to play. Well, that's a jubilant group of greyhounds out there because they have defeated a ball club, which I believe uh, Sacred Heart beat Naugatuck down in Naugatuck by a pretty substantial margin, Allie, didn't they, earlier in the season? Shot by Henry Brown is good. But that is just going to make the score look maybe a wee bit more respectable, if anything. Second shot by Henry Brown is missed. The rebound picked up by, well, a jump ball call with two seconds left to play. The jump of the free throw line, the tap picked up by Rado, and there's the buzzer, ending the ball game. The final score, Noggy 63, 